All right, guys, how's it going? New Age here with some more showdown letter and sessions. And today we are up in, we're not in monotype actually, but we are using monotype. You know how I like to do monotype team against standard teams, see how they fare. And uh, this time around, we're using a mono steel team very close to my heart. Um, Basically, I had a mono steel team in X and Y. I had one in Oras, and I really love both of them, especially in Oras with Mega Metagross. Oh, it was beautiful. Uh, so now, Sun and Moon's come along, and I'm trying to figure out what my mono steel team is going to be this time around. Um, this is by no means a final product, but I did make it. I've tried it like twice, and I want to try it out some more. So this is by no means really a showcase of my perfected steel team but it is kind of a test run that i just want to have fun with try it out see how it goes uh also this isn't even in pokebank ou so i don't even have things available to me like ferrothorn and <laughs> ferrothorn <laughs> heatran another one heatran is another one um also one of the things i realized this team gets destroyed by um by a lowland marowak there's actually a calc that i could run um i want to check out while i'm here is uh dang it i forgot what it's called now the uh the one set or the one attack the black hole or whatever yeah black hole eclipse there you go and then I think 175 is the highest it gets up to. I want to see if that knocks out Marowak. Okay, that knocks out an offensive Marowak. And a defensive Marowak, I guess my team isn't really worried about. So that's good to know. So anyways, um, yeah, moving on to the team. We got Mega Metagross, uh, Jolly, like Max Speed Max Attack, just a standard set. Uh, I did have agility on this team, but I guess Trick Room is like very prevalent right now and that's another reason why i found out that this team does not do well against the lola marowak um because i actually had it very low and i actually won the battle still by stalling out trick room a bit but if i had something like bullet punch if i had priority the game would have been a lot easier um but there's no other forms of priority on this team which is another reason buy shop would be really good it lets me like guarantee revenge kill things like a little marowak and gives me another form of priority but that's not something i have access to right now so we're gonna rock with the metagross bullet punch then we got a uh, standard spadef assault vest magirna uh we got skarmory as our what skarmory as our defensive mon um yeah, I kind of like Rocky. Mm, no, I don't. Uh, I like Rocky Helmet to an extent, but the reason I have Skarmory is to be able to uh, take hits from Ferramosa and to take high jump kicks, because otherwise nothing else on this team takes high jump kick well. Um, and Leftovers will help, help me like guaranteed live a two-hit KO or something like that. Uh, then we got Offensive... Uh, special Celesteela. I really love the special set. I actually haven't even tried the defensive set, so maybe I will at some point. But for now, I really love like the potential of a special sweeper. I mean, Magirna has that too. And then we have a Choice Specs Magnezone. I really wanted Choice Scarf because of the speed, but I realized like in this kind of metagame, things are really slow. And after the few lives that I've done, finding out like how well magnezone forces out like switches and stuff choice specs can really depending on the team just come in and get a kill every time um i have hidden power ground over hidden power fire just to take on opposing magnezones granted my team's not really that weak to magnezone like if you traps metagross or like doug trio like they're just dying anyways and magirna i'm pretty sure can beat a magnezone hopefully to an extent uh, so yeah, that's why I have that for now. I might switch it up at some point, but for now I'll leave it as in a paragon. And then last I got a Lone Dug Trio. Um, there aren't too many options for Steel types that are released at the moment. There are definitely some I could have chosen over Dug Trio, like maybe Scizor or something. Um, but I decided to go with Dug Trio just because 
it's decently fast. It's another earthquake user, so it helps me like beat fire types and it's a lot, it's very fast. It also gives me an electric immunity, so things like Tabu Coco, because Sail the Steel and Skarmory are pretty weak to electric, and Metagross doesn't take hits that well either. And then last, it gives me the Dark UMZ Memento, which say if my Metagross gets weak throughout the battle, I can bring it in and heal it up, and then my opponent has to deal with a completely fresh Metagross, uh, which obviously is not fun for anybody. And you know that applies to any Pokemon as well, so the trio is a nice like support and offensive Pokemon. So yeah, that's the team. Let's see if we can win us some games with some Mono Steel. All right, so we got a game against a uh, Pheromosa, so that's not gonna be fun, as well as a Magnezone and a Mamoswine. Mamoswine, I'm not extremely worried about, um, but Magnezone will be difficult because my answers to Mamoswine include things like Celesteela and Skarmory, but with Magnezone running around, that's not, that's not as easy of a task to accomplish. I actually think I have nothing for... Oh, I don't like this. I have nothing for Mamoswine. I'm actually just gonna lead Metagross because I feel like I have to. Um, I wanna see right here, which does more. I think uh, Zen Headbutt might do more. Uh, if he's Sash Lead, Earthquake has a chance to not knock me out. If I had Hammer Armor, I'd knock him out. I actually knock him out with Meteor Mash. Okay. So I'm gonna go with Meteor Mash. If he decides to get up rocks, then fine. And he is Sash, so he could not knock me out with Earthquake. As he just decides to get up rocks, so that is amazing for us because now Mamoswine just goes down. Um, well, it could. He goes out in a Scizor. I don't know how well this takes hits either. After seeing that damage, too. Let's see. Uh, bullet punch at plus one. Because that did a lot. Bullet punch, 18 to 21. He did 26, so he's not... He's more offensive, if anything. Yeah. Definitely. So... Scizor... Oh my gosh, there's so many scissor sets. Okay, so yeah, let's assume he's straight up offensive. Uh, Meteor Mash can do up to half. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that then. Let's do it. We can even get another attack boost. Yeah, 45%, that's good. Brutal Swing is not knocking me out. And neither will a Bullet Punch. How much does Earthquake do though? I don't wanna miss Meteor Mash. Earthquake will knock him out. Let's go with that. Yeah, Bowl Punch does not knock me out. So see, here's here's what I'm talking about, that situation. I could switch out Metagross still, if I want to, at any time. And he has to deal with the plus, or I can bring it back with Duck Trio, and he has to deal with the uh, with the Metagross. Now, I'm kind of assuming he's not Scarf Magnezone by this point. Um, hello? <laughs> hello, Feromosa? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. No way. Why was that a switch? Hello? This is not a switch. Unless you're scarfed. Hmm. Yeah, I think he specs Magnazone. Because otherwise he would have just gone out into that and knocked me out. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have switches to Tapu Lele either. But my thing is, the priority does so much damage like to Feromosa and it can knock out Mamoswine so I definitely think it's better to try and save this if I can. The only thing is what do I go out into? Kind of feel like I have to go out into Magirna but like that's just gonna get weakened that's no good. As he actually goes for Hidden Power Fire okay. Um, and I think I just want to go for... I think I just want to go for Aura Sphere. I would expect him to switch out. Um, and that hits Magnezone or Mamoswine. Yeah, okay. And then he gives me the special attack boost, not bad. So, I think he could knock me out with Feromosa if he really wants to. Which... Hmm. 
I don't know, that's not good. Let's see though. Salamance could still be an issue too later on. Um the only thing is Like his team is so fast, I don't even know if I can get off a move with Dugtrio. But hmm. I think I do want to switch out. I don't want to keep this in. He might go for the supersonic sky strike or I don't know, maybe a fire move. Um, but I think I want to go into Celesteela. I need to keep Skarmory healthy. I need to keep Magirna healthy. Or as healthy as I can. Anyways, he actually just stays in and goes for Earthquake. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, let's see. So his Magnazone ideally would be faster than me. Um... I think I do want to go for Autonomize, expecting him to go Magnazone. I just want to be able to hit this thing, um, which I will be able to do with the Fire Blast. So let's make it happen, Celesteela. Look at that special attack. We're going to do some damage right here. Hey, oh my gosh, it knocked him out. I didn't know that was going to knock him out. I didn't know the cow. Yo, we might just sweep, yep, <laughs> we might just sweep with Celesteela. Ah, uh, I love Celesteela. Um, yeah, I mean, Ferrum also got knocked out for sure, but I'd say, I don't know. I guess he didn't have a chance because his team was getting too weakened. I would say he could go into Tapu Lele if he had Thunderbolt, go for that. Or even Psychic, I'm sure, would have done a lot, especially because I'm offensive. I actually want to find out how much, uh... Celesteela takes from Tapu Lele. Let's see. If he's like... Choice Specs Modest. I'm assuming he was Scarf, but... Yeah, Psychic did half. Hmm. How much did I do to him at plus one? Air Slash actually knocks him out. Two KOs him. Yeah, and he would have to be Scarf to be faster than me. And if he's Scarf, Psychic does not two hit KO me. So yeah, actually, that might have just been a wrap. Unless Salamance had something to hit me with. But uh, yeah, not bad for the first one. Let's get another game. So yeah, Mammal Swine is definitely a problem depending on the rest of my opponent's team. I have to lead with certain things, um, but that's something I can try to play around. That guy did not, he for sure did not make the right choice just going for Stealth or Oxman. I just straight up led Metagross, especially since he gets the speed boost and he wasn't faster than me. Um, but either way, since he was Sashed and not Life Orb, Earthquake didn't knock me out. So, unless he, yeah, I think it was Adamant Sash. Uh, anyways, anyways. I don't think there's a Trick Room team, which is really nice because we don't have to worry about Marowak as much. Um, I don't know. It might just be me, but I'm not extremely worried about this team. Um, I think I want to lead Metagross again. I really like Metagross lead. Especially now that it gets the speed boost. Now, I'm pretty sure Tapu Koko can knock me out. Just because of the terrain. I'm going to say, like, Life Orb. Thunderbolt. Let's see. Uh, that actually does not knock me out. And Meteor Mash comes close to knocking him out, so I guess I'll go for it. Just because I have that option to always be able to heal. And he's actually Scarfed. Uh, or no, he's not Scarfed. Wow, I'm stupid. <laughs> he could be Scarfed, but not necessarily. So, the thing is though, he does not have a switch, unless he wants to go, okay, that's not a switch. <laughs> um, unless this thing is like randomly scarfed, I'm gonna go for another Meteor Mash. Oh, he has Beak Blast. That's right. 
Now, again, that doesn't really matter because I have Duck Trio. But it does suck because I would have been able to... I would have been able to... You know, punch a hole in this team. I completely forgot about Beak Blast. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely could have just switched there. I could have actually probably set up with Celesteela against him. But uh, we'll see who he wants to go out into now. I'd like to get up like some spikes if I could. It'd be good for Marowak. Uh, he's gonna go Zygarde. Let's see. Zygarde is a tricky Pokemon because I really don't have a switch into it. Let's see. Skarmory. I wish it showed the other Zygarde sets. Yeah, hold on. I need to check. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. So Zygarde, 10% has 100 attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then that's right. And I don't know if he's choice banded either. Let's see. Thousand arrows. Um, it doesn't look like he 2 it KOs me, unless he's choice banded, but which is definitely a set, but I think I kind of have to go for it. I guess we'll find out here, right now. 34 to 40%. Okay, I don't think he's choice banded, but... I also don't know what I can do to him back. Uh, hmm, I think I'm just gonna get up a spike. Yeah, okay, you should've knocked me out. And... Yeah, cause that'll break a potential sash on the Hilligo, and it'll weaken card, it'll weaken everything, so that's useful. Um, I'm gonna get up another spike in case he decides to switch out or something. He's just gonna stay in. Okay. So I have to figure out what I wanna do here. Celesteela will not take this as well, neither will Magirna. Uh, I don't like these calcs. Let me see. Where's my team? Yeah, Magirna does not take a thousand arrows. And... Celesteela can take one. But... Oh, I don't like this. Hmm. Mm-mm. I think I need to go Celesteela too. After I lose my flying type, I do not take a thousand arrows. Even if he is not choice banded. Which I'm not sure if he is or not. But I think I'm gonna go for a Totemize. As he goes on to Marowak, that's a good play on his part. I think I just need to stay in and weaken this thing with Air Slash. I think my only hope to beat uh, Zygarde is to get my Metagross healthy and then come in with it again. But I'm going to go for Air Slash Flinchies for now. Because that is the name of the game. Alright, let's go Celesteela. Oh! Okay, so he gets knocked out. This is actually really bad because he could just come in with Zygarde again. Yeah, that's not good. He goes Kartana though. Don't I just knock you out? Pretty sure I just knock you out. I felt like I had to go Magirna though. Okay. Um, let's see. He doesn't outspeed Duck Trio. I'm gonna go for Bolt Switch. Why'd he go for Thunderbolt? Okay. 
This is this is where it needs to happen. I need to go for the Z memento. If he switches out now, that'd be really cool. Okay, so he goes for the power gem. We get Metagross in. We get the boost. Oh, it doesn't heal the burn? Oh my gosh, that's not good. I'm still going for Meteor Mash. If I can get an attack boost, that'd be nice. Nope. I thought it healed the burn. I thought it was like Healing Wish. Alright, well that's not good then. And this thing has pretty decent defense. I'm just going to go back out into Magirna. I'm going to take that pretty well. Um, and at this point... Let's see. Magirna, what does more? Flash Cannon or... I don't really want to go for Aura Sphere. Flash Cannon does do more. Kartana. Flash Cannon doesn't knock it out. But. Hmm. Aura Sphere does knock it out, but honestly, I'm not as worried about Kartana. But I guess if that's the case, then I should go for Floor Cannon. But I won't go for Flash Cannon in case uh, Tapu Koko comes in. Uh, Flash Cannon. Okay. So Sacred Sword does 31%. Alright, well. And I don't think I can knock him out. Well, I'm unless he gets the speed boost. I'm just going to go for Floor Cannon. Alright, he gets the attack boost over the speed boost, so that's good. Um... Unfortunately, though, I don't know what I can knock him out with. Man, I didn't know that happens. That it doesn't heal the burn. Uh, let's see. So we have Earthquake and we have Bullet Punch. Wow, neither of these, none of these knock him out. And he has the attack boost. Um, I'm just gonna go for two Meteor Mashes then, because I need to try and get an attack boost. Come on. And that did 16, so another one should knock him out. Come on, I need an attack boost. Oh my gosh, okay, it's not happening. It's GG then. G to the G, my friend. G to the G. I'm assuming he's just gonna Volt Switch. I'm still just gonna go Magnuson. So he goes for Thunderbolt. That's fine. And then we flash cannon. Oh, gone. And then he wins with Zygarde. So, a pretty close game. Not bad. Not too shabby. We're gonna flash cannon, and he's gonna knock out the rest of our team. Super crit! Oh! At least Metagross was the last man standing. Can always appreciate the Metagross. But that wasn't a bad game. I enjoyed it. Let's get another one. So it would appear that Zygarde is a problem for this team, and look, we've got another one. So I guess we have to hope he plays his uh, more poorly, or I guess does not have the same team structure as the other guy. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know why, I just love leaning Metagross. I really love it. Um, does he knock me out? Does he actually knock me out? Thousand arrows. I don't want to risk this the first turn. If he's Troy's banded adamant, there's a chance he knocks me out. Although... Oh, he's higher than 110 as well. Um, but I can't really do anything back to him. But also, I'm not about to switch either, so I guess I'm just going to go for the Meteor Mash that does the most damage. Let's see. Okay, so that was either a roll or, oh my gosh, I knocked him out? Where? Oh, duh, because this is, the Zygarde I'm looking up is not the same defenses. It's 
space 115 speed, yeah. So if he was adamant, we would actually outspeed him. Uh, but 71 and 54. 71 defense, 54 HP. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's how you died at Meteor Mash. Okay, I'm definitely not leaving this in to get like faked out or something. Um, let's see, who do I go out into here? I don't know, I think, I feel like it gets like Thunderbolt and stuff too. Which I'm not too cool with. I'm gonna go into Magirna just to see what he wants to do. Yeah, he's gonna foul play. I'm cool with that. Um, and I'm just gonna Volt Switch here. Like, you have to switch, right? Come on, bro. You can't stay in on a fairy move like that. If anything, you'd go like Nihiligo or Sela Steela. I feel like Nihiligo is the safest play. It takes the fairy move and it has good special defense for Volt Switch. I mean, then again, I don't know. Um, Tapu Lele is good too. As he goes for the Pardon Shot, I actually forgot about Persian having that. That's a really cool tech, being able to switch out and weaken your opponent at the same time. Not bad. So he's going to go into Tapu Lele. Um, I'm not going to risk that thing being like Scarfed or something. Unfortunately, Magirna is my switch to Tapu Lele, so... Uh, I might just go... Hmm. I don't know if I can afford to go Magnazone, actually. Let's see. Magnazone. Tapu Lele. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna look up Troy Specs just to know the most damage he could do to me. Okay, so he doesn't knock out Magnazone, so I'm gonna go into that. Uh, he also doesn't have a electric immunity. A flash Cannon actually knocks this out, uh, but I'm gonna go for Volt Switch anyways because, yeah, okay. Because um, I can just come in after and knock him out with Magirna. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because Magirna also gets the boost. So, I'm just gonna go for Flash Cannon over Volt Switch. Celesteela could come in easy, um, but. If he does decide to just sack this and stay in, then I get the damage off. And if he goes into Celesteela, then I'm just gonna Volt Switch. Also, his team is, his team actually is not that slow. The only thing that I could Z Memento on is like Nihiligo. Well, Nihiligo, Celesteela, and Araquanid. So yeah, I guess a decent amount of things. But yeah, I still don't know if he's Scarfed or not but I guess it doesn't really matter. As he's just gonna stay in and sack it, which is awesome, because now I get my special attack boost. He can go out into Persian if he wants. I think if he does go out into Persian, okay, so he chooses to go Raquanid. Uh, let me see this. Mikirna, I'm actually gonna Take this real quick. Hey! Alright, Magirna. At plus one. Yeah, Floor Cannon definitely does the most. I don't think it'll knock it out, but I'm gonna go for it now because I don't really have. Uh, I don't really need Magirna as much anymore. Hmm. And so let's see. I don't want to go Celesteela. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is the right time. I think I might go to Trio, knock this out, and then. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And then Z Memento. Well, no, because if I Z Memento here, then I can potentially get an attack boost with Metagross. But that's the thing I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it now, anyways. As he goes, so Steela, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess. Well, 
It depends, because I know from my own experience, if he is offensive Celestila, uh, he doesn't take Meteor Mashes very well. But I also don't want to let this thing get weakened, so... I think I'm just going to go Magnezone. I don't know if he wants to try an Earthquake predicting that or what, but... As he goes for Leech Seed, and uh, we're just going to Thunderbolt. I mean, you, if you if you can't switch, then it doesn't matter. I don't know if he's Shed Shell. Okay, he's not. So Celesteel just gets knocked out. Nice. Um, I do want to watch out for like Scarf and Hiligo. I'm just gonna let this thing go down. If you know he wants to knock me out, then fine. Because I can go out into Skarmory after this. Um, I'm actually gonna try and go Skarmory and get up the Spike. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, as he goes into Nihiligo, but we go down, so that's really cool. So we actually get to weaken it, um, and if he is Scarfed, I don't think he can knock me out with anything, so. And I'm pretty sure Bullet Punch just knocks him out. I don't want to, like, risk missing right now. Even though, once I beat Nihiligo, it's kind of over. But if he's, like, Scarf, I don't want him to 2-8 -E KO me or something. You know what, I'm not even going to count this. I know I knock it out. Oh my gosh, I don't knock it out. Okay, but he... <laughs> I mean, I know he doesn't knock me out either, so... Okay. That works, then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a wrap. Um, all he has left is this Persian, but... I'm just going to Meteor Mash. Yeah, foul play. Um, let's see. So, at this point... I'm going to go Skarmory. Get up a... Okay. Really? What are you even doing? Like, you're still just gonna get weakened. Oh, what's he doing? Z parting shot. Oh, dang. And he doesn't faint with that either. Oh, he might just bring it back. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I need a parting shot again. Okay. I'm gonna go for Spike. He's gonna taunt again, that's fine. I'm just gonna Brave Bird again. I mean, he's still taking a lot of damage. Like, clearly. I don't know what he's doing. Also, you can't lower my attack and then foul play. Also, if I crit you, then... It's kinda over. Um... I'm just gonna keep, yeah, I mean he can keep taunting me, every turn he taunts me is just more leftovers for me, and he's not stalling me out, so, because of my leftovers, and because he lowered my attack so much, like, foul play is doing nothing. Yeah, so I should be able to win here, no problem. Uh, I do outspeed this as well, yeah. GG. That scared me for a second. Because I was like, uh, I was like, Z parting shot, okay, not bad if it like makes Persian faint and then brings out the Araquanid, because then it's just Araquanid, and I have two flying mons to attempt to handle that. Also, like, Skarmory would be able to roost at some point, but <laughs> having it, having them both still back at full health, I was like, oh dang, did I let Metagross go too soon? Something bad's about to happen, but no worked out let's get one more all right so we got one more game it's not looking good he's got Zygarde uh, see this is the thing that really sucks Metagross destroys his team like it literally tears his team apart but because of the Zygarde like Zygarde can still put in work I'm going to lead Metagross again. He's going to lead Golem. Um, okay. Are you Magnet Pull? I'm, yeah, you don't have an Earthquake switch in. Or, you know, an immunity, I guess, I should say. Um, I also don't know what this wants to do to me. Like... Tapu Fini. I'm assuming they're pretty defensive. Yeah. 
I don't want to leave my Metagross in to take any unnecessary damage. Although, I might want to get up a spike. Well, no, he has that to defog. That's stupid. Um, he also has no electric. Oh, wait, no, he has. <laughs> I'm stupid. He has Eye Guard. Um, hmm. Kind of want to go Magnezone to try and. Oh, he actually misses. To try and force in Zygarde. I really doubt he would go Zygarde here. But I want to try and force it in. If he. Basically, if he's like, oh, I want. Like this immunity or whatever. That's that's my thinking behind it. Um, these do run like fire blast too. Let's see. I don't want to just go into so steal it either. It's not gonna take like knockoff and stuff. Well. Yeah, Magirna is like my only uh my only decent knockoff switch in and here i don't even think floor cannon will do that much i kind of just want to bolt switch even though i feel like he's staying in yep damn it is he gonna fire blast me i'm just gonna go so steal i yeah it's definitely what's coming as he actually crits me so that's good to know, um, that doesn't do very much, as I think I want to go for Leech Seed. He's going to knock me off. So Fire Blast with a crit did 52, so another Fire Blast actually might not knock me out. Um, but I'm going to go for Air Slash. I was going to say, in case I happen to be able to flinch him, that actually does a lot. Um, and I'm gonna leech seed here. What does he have to hit me with? I guess he has a water move, yeah. I'm just gonna go Magirna. No reason to let this thing go down, especially if it lived. Wow. Well, especially if it lived from uh, Mug's Fire Blast. So here. I'm just gonna Floor Cannon. She's just gonna Nature's Madness. Ooh! Ooh! that nice crit not even bad so there's a lot of things you could do here Greninja Kartana is one of them he actually just decides to go Zygarde um, so I'm just gonna floor can again he's just gonna knock me out so I have to decide how to play around this thing I think I just need to go Metagross if he is adamant I outspeed him, but if he's jolly, then he doesn't knock me out. Okay, cool. So we get rid of this thing, and we're gonna switch out, attempt to save Metagross. Unfortunately, his team is decently fast, so I don't know who I should go here, if I should just sack Celesteela or what. I need Metagross to come back somehow. I mean, so Steel is just gonna go down, isn't it? I. Hmm. I don't wanna go Magnezone, but I am going to. Expecting maybe Water Shuriken. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my gosh, chill. Chill. And he doesn't have any electric immunities anymore. So I'm going to Volt Switch. If he wants to stay in and try and Water Shuriken me, then I guess that's unfortunate that he did so much. Alright, so he goes out into the muck. Alright, good. This is what I want. I wanted something that I could Z Memento on because I need to bring Metagross back into this game. Metagross can do a lot to Greninja. Actually. Hmm. 
Ninja. Uh, choice specs. I feel like Dark Pulse does still knock me out. Yeah, Dark Pulse knocks out Mega Metagross. Oh, I might just lose to Greninja then. Unless he somehow doesn't knock me out with Greninja. But he definitely does. Yeah, I don't think I need HP on Metagross actually. If anything, I need it on Magnezone or something. I'm gonna Earthquake. Z Memento? I don't know. Nah, Focus Sash isn't bad. He's gonna go into Golem. Why? I just showed Earthquake. Oh, he's sashed. Okay. Uh, he gets up rocks. Hmm. I could actually bring in Metagross now. Cause that, hmm, that forces him to Dark Pulse, but I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna zoom memento here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go Metagross here because I can also attempt to get an attack boost off of Meteor Mash, and that'll make Bullet Punch do more, as we don't get it, and he goes Greninja. Pretty sure that's GG. Dark Pulse definitely knocks me out. Man, why is this thing so strong? I mean, it's just with choice specs, I guess, but still. GG. Uh, why is Greninja better than Metagross? I'm gonna me Meteor Mash in case I live. I know I didn't. Uh, yeah, tis a wrap. Um, I'm just gonna whirlwind. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'll let him knock out everything, have his Greninja fun. Oh, and that's it. Huh, not bad though. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is just a test team, me trying to feel out what I think is good and things that I notice that may or may not work. Um, I guess I shouldn't have let Magirna go so early. Magirna definitely would have been able to take these hits. Yeah, like, <laughs> let me see, actually, let me see, Hydro Pump. Yeah. Greninja does nothing to my Assault Vest, Magirna. So I guess if I would have played that better, uh, then we could have, we could have beat the Greninja. But honestly, Greninja and Zygarde, uh, too many threats. I didn't know who to worry about more. So that's kind of a cool thing to note with, uh, with Metagross though, that Zygarde, does not really knock it out if it's jolly and if it's adamant we outspeed him and knock him out so I guess Zygarde is not the biggest problem but I do have to play around it a lot also I love that I led Metagross like every time <laughs> it's just like Metagross go destroy as much as you can then the rest of the team will take care of the remnants but that's gonna be the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like share Comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.